here we have a Dell with a Pentium inside. Can you believe that? A Pentium. Oh, wow. Optiplex 3090. I'm going to try to revive this uh, for somebody. Uh, they have Windows 7 on it. I guess I've not really looked at it yet. Uh, of course, it needs cleaned. Uh, let's take a look inside real quick. Okay, as you can see, this thing is absolutely filthy. It actually has a weird smell to it. Uh, this fan, I don't know if you guys can see it very good, but it's 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 got some dust in it. It's not the worst I've ever seen. Of course, the heat sink down here is massively clogged up too but uh you know other than that we'll probably put some new thermal paste on it uh i'd say they need a new hard drive but i don't have one laying around so i kind of just kind of go on with what i got i don't know how much ram it has in it uh hopefully it'll run windows 10 or 11 at least probably have to do a registry hack just to get windows 11 going but uh let's clean it up a little oh yeah so we can get a real good look uh, of the fan <laughs> Here, look at that dust. Uh, Dell has definitely got better at designing computers because this thing needs to come out. And I, it's just not easy to come out. Maybe I can figure out here. All right, so yeah, it did come out easy. You just have to push this to the side and it'll pop off. So look at that. We're right at the RAM now. So unfortunately, I don't have no PC3 laying around. Uh, got some PC4, but no PC3. But it don't hurt to, to un seat these and seat these back just to freshen them up a little bit anyway so now comes the fun part all the cleaning <laughs> can breathe guys look at that nice and well you know still gotta wipe it off a little bit but uh yeah that uh that thermal paste is basically powder so i'm definitely gonna have to put new thermal paste on it keep this thing cool and uh maybe it'll work a little better whoo these things stink You know, I gotta say, those MX cleaners really clean those processors. Look at that thing, it's beautiful. You know, before we do this, I'm gonna actually reseat uh, the processor just to, just so it knows it's been reseated. You know, it's probably not been moved in how long. So, just reseating it. Beautiful processor, look how it cleaned it up. Beautiful. An opinion 2.7 gigahertz. That's what I'm talking about. Right, you're reseated. Put you back in there. There we go. Oh, 
I was doing four corners and a little X. A little bit more in the middle. There we go. Should be plenty. Get out of the way, cables. Alright, so we definitely want to make this nice and tight. Interesting design here. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Or the fan that's kind of going from here and transferring all the way up here, then blowing. I've not seen that much. You know, I guess whatever works. Those are nice and tight. All right. Now I've got to put a ram back in there. Of course, we cleaned it up a little bit. Hopefully, it's still good. All right. Let's make sure our fans plug back up. We don't want to forget that. Would have been bad. All right. That's basically all it is to this build here. I'm going to put our CD drive back here. Make sure it's mounted on these little notches. Get these on here. And it's locked back. Be sure to plug it back up, you know. You can go very far without it. Probably would have been easier to plug these up than put it back down on there. But I'll make it work. Don't miss that entirely. plug back up there now see we got to plug in our uh, CD drive again here I'll just clean it up a little bit just brush it off It had its own separate power. It was just this one for some reason. It's smaller than regular. Uh, just different. Let's see. All right, it's in there. Looks like she's reassembled. For the most part, anyway. Got to put our front panel back on here. We have our side panel. This shouldn't have been too much. Normally, you don't want to put everything back together without turning it on first, but uh, wasn't too much to this one. Now, the famous mango squirt Now we got to install windows. I think I'm going to go with 10. I don't think. Eh, we'll try 11. Why not? Uh, you know, they're not expecting much out of this. I think 
just a web browser didn't work or something. So uh, let's try that. I definitely need to get some of those uh, MX cleaners. Those are very nice and makes my life a lot easier. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, hook it up. All right, so it is working. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the BIOS. No, let's not. Let's just go ahead and try to get Windows 11 installed. See if it will do it. It's only got four gigs of RAM, which is the only concern, really. And probably the hard drive. Since it's old, but hey, look, it's working. So, it can do it. Maybe. Maybe not. It's going to be struggling in it. At least it has a Windows 7 Pro key, so that's good too. Well, got a little circle action going on. A little circle action. Hey, hey, hey. Watch this. Let's see if it'll give us the error. And we'll just, uh, I'll show you how to do the registry edits. All right, so I don't have a key, just select that. Let's do Pro. It should give us an error. If it, yep, all right. So hit Shift F10. I'm gonna go Reg, edit. <laughs> Go local machines, system setup. I think you just put it in here, right? Create a new registry key called lab config. It makes this automatically. And you do a new D word. Ah, pass TPM. Check. And set it value to one. So all you do is double click it. Set value to one. New. You want to do bypass. Secure boot check as well. One, and then there's one for RAM check. So there's D word bypass RAM check. So you do have to capitalize each one, I think, like this. So keep that in mind. Hopefully, you guys can see it on the screen. One, all right, you just exit, exit this, go back, hit next. It should install now. There we go. So custom, we want, I don't know what's on this thing, don't care. Blowing it away right now, so it's only a 250 gig hard drive, and now we're installing Windows 11. Uh, but uh, after this, guys, I'll install Windows 11, do a little performance check on it for you, and uh, we'll call it a day. All right, guys, so we got Windows 11 installed on this. It doesn't run very good, and drivers <laughs> uh, actually can't update the BIOS in Windows 11 because the program won't run. Uh, there's probably other ways around that, but uh, don't really care too much. But here's a little trick I've learned throughout the years: is you just need to come to the System Advanced 
and got a little performance and just just got the best performance out there it should speed it up a little bit like this computer's not meant to do much I'd also change this the paging file I would take it off automatic and we're just gonna set it to 8 gigs let's see set I don't want to set Let's change custom size there we go so 896 oh I'm like not working 896 Give us at least eight gigs of RAM on the hard drive, a little bit, kind of like a pager file. The same thing as a swap file on Linux. It helps it run a little bit, and I mean this hard drive's not going to be good, but uh, obviously, if uh, you know, it's a little snappier that I turned off all the other junk, but there's just not much you can do. Uh, it doesn't have a video card installed on it, so you know it's not running the best. Uh, but other than that, we're installing uh, a bunch of programs. Hopefully, she might need to use this user. Uh, she said uh, whenever she tried to go to a website that our web web browser was out of date, needed to be a, on a different web browser or something. So I'm assuming uh, I will just install Chrome. Of course, she'll have Edge and all the desktop runtimes. Maybe some people like to use, but uh, yeah. Would I recommend getting an Optiplex Dell 3090 in 2024? Absolutely not. It's old, but, uh, you know, if she got a solid state hard drive in it, it would make it a lot better, but uh, I don't think she wouldn't spend too much on it because it's old machine. Why would you? Uh, it could use a little video card too. That would help things but SSD a little extra RAM a lot of extra RAM would go big way at least 16 gigs it's only got four right now so this thing's gonna be struggling but uh, it is what it is hope you guys like videos like this uh, just updating old computers trying to get them to run decently without spending money into it but uh, be sure to check out techholler.com follow me over on Twitter at this man